One of the things that drives me nuts as an orchestra director and drives the students nuts too is when you get a rattle in your instrument. And rattles can occur in a lot of different places. Sometimes it's not even to do with the instrument itself. Sometimes it's something to do with what the student's wearing that's buzzing up against the student's instrument. Uh, that's more common with a, a cello or bass, but right now I've got this violin and it has a rattle, and I'm gonna try to troubleshoot this instrument and figure out where the rattle is. So the best way to do it is have the student play the instrument for you so that you can kind of feel around and, and put your fingers in different places like the fine tuners or the button, um, the chin rest, or a lot of other places on the instrument that it, that it could be rattling so that you get an idea of where the rattle's coming from. Um, once, once you touch the, the piece that's rattling, you know, the, the pressure from your, your fingertips will stop the rattle from occurring and then you know that that's what the problem is. But a lot of rattles come from the fine tuners. If you get a fine tuner like this one right here on the A string, what'll happen is if the fine tuner's not grabbing at the base of the fine tuner, if it's too loose, well, it'll, it'll, have, some, it'll have some give to it and it can, it can move around side to side. And so when they're playing, especially on the A string, it'll start to rattle side to side and that's where you get that, that vibration. So to fix that, all you have to do is turn it down until it starts to catch. Wow, and, and this one catches pretty low, especially compared to these other fine tuners. And I, I really don't like this style of fine tuners. I like the Whitner tuner a lot better. It gives you more string length and um, you don't have to deal with this bass issue, but hey, you know, you, you get what you get sometimes when you're teaching and somebody will bring in an instrument like this and you'll get, it's more susceptible to rattles. The other spot that the rattle could occur at the fine tuner is at the base itself. So there are these uh, screw points here at the bottom where the top of the fine tuner screws into and catches. And to be able to install a fine tuner, you gotta install the base to this metal part underneath here. And sometimes that's not tightened enough or somehow it's worked its way out. So try to figure out which one it is and make sure those are tight as well. That's another spot where the rattles can occur. Um, feel around the tail piece, the tail gut, the button right here. Sometimes the tail gut can come loose and you, you'll need to tighten it up or you'll need to figure out some way to, um, to secure that uh, and get that working again. Or just, you know, replace the whole tail piece. That might be an easier thing. If it was this violin and the, something was going on here, I would just replace it with a Whitner, Whitner compatible tail piece and just get rid of this thing. Um, uh, the, the other common place you're going to find is, is right here on the, the chin rest. And if you hear this, as I touch the chin rest, it's, it's not very tight. And, and these things can come um, looser. A lot of times here on the inside, the, the cork uh, can dehydrate. And so as the cork dehydrates, uh, it doesn't spring as much, and then you've got more space. But this is probably where it's coming from. You just need to take a chin rest tool and, and kind of tighten this back up. If you don't have a chin rest tool, you know, a paper clip works sometimes too. Just take a paper clip and put it in there and, you know, and kind of tighten these things up. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about on the instrument is open seams. Open seams can cause rattling too. And it's, it's kind of a blessing in, dis in disguise when that happens because if you get a rattle in one of your open seams, it's probably a small opening. And you know, you, if you feel around the channeling, you can, when the student's playing, you can tell if it's rattling here um, along the top or, you know, or along the bottom as well. Um, you can, you can kind of figure that out. And once you get a small opening in the seam, you can get it re-glued. That's gonna be a much cheaper repair than when the seam opens up a lot. And as the seam opens, sometimes, it creates other problems like I've seen before where scene starts opening and it takes some of the ribs with it as it starts to come unglued and that's not a good thing so you can turn a forty dollar repair into a several hundred dollar repair pretty quickly. Sometimes this, the rattle is occurring because of the student's attire and they might be wearing a jacket with a zipper that's buzzing up against the instrument or they might have a student ID on with a lanyard or something like that and that's buzzing up. You, you see this more commonly with, with cellists and bass players, but you know, it, if you can't figure out where the 
rattle's coming from with the student, well, try to play on that instrument yourself and see if you can recreate it. And if you can't, well, it's probably something that the student's wearing. Maybe it's a button from their shirt or something like that. And, you know, you can just say, all right, well, you know, you wore that shirt and it's got a button. You're going to have to deal with this today. But, you know, tomorrow wear a T-shirt and it's going to be better. But anyway, um, hey, I'd like to hear if you have any interesting stories about rattles, maybe an, uh, a unique rattle, some kind of a, a strange thing that came up with, with you or, or your student where you're getting a rattle and couldn't figure out where it's coming from. So if you have a story like that, hey, drop it in the comment section below, and I think we'd all get a kick out of it. So thanks for watching.